road trip to Alexandria, Louisiana to look at a 1984 Mazda B2000. Uh, hopefully look at the engine and it, there, hopefully there's things that are there that we need. We're not going to be able to pull anything off. We're driving the Lincoln today. It's about a two hour drive uh, from Shreveport. But mostly just to do a little bit of surveillance and hopefully they have somebody that can pull some parts for us because I'm going to throw them some money. Possibly take the engine uh, head complete to the oil pan intake if it's there. Um, unfortunately, I uh, won't have a whole lot of time. They close at 3 today on Saturday. So we're uh, about 113 miles out. Well, we made it to the Love's truck stop. Filled up. We're about 13 miles from the junkyard. We made it. Actually, nice out here. Very nice out here. Row 20. For the 1984 Mazda B2000. The guy that works here already took the doors off, he said. He wasn't too sure about the engine. Asked him if it was rebuildable. He said if nobody's pulled any parts up of it, it probably is. There's 20 right here. He says he had a Ford Courier. He pulled the doors off of it for his Courier. 79, he said. Ram 50. These are cool little trucks. Nice toolbox. There it is. I see the front of it. Yeah. Oh, I see it. Right here. <laughs> it's got a nice grill, it looks like. I guess this was a local truck. Lady had it. She'd been driving it. Well, I don't know. Looks like somebody Ooh, pulled. Does he have the antenna? Yeah. Oh, it's a different antenna, but I can somebody make it pulled work. a valve cover off. Babe, I can make it work. Put some parts off of it. Hmm. This is the standard. Yeah, it's a it's a standard. <clears throat> Hey, pull the head off the for seat, it. Everything. Parts off of it for it. Hmm. It's got the original carburetor. Looks like. Yeah, well this guy took the... They took this thing apart. Yeah. This is the antenna you need though. I'm I know, sure. I want the antenna. Mm -hmm. We'll take it off. Yeah, hang on. Don't pull it. Figure it out. It's got the same color interior as yours. Yeah, I know. Mm -hmm. I, that's where I looked at, but they took it apart already. Good event. Yeah. Well, it's been here for 80 something days, so. Oh, it is? Bumper. Ours is bad, but this one's pretty good. No. Oh, what we'll leave the bumper. What are we going to do? I don't know. We'll see. We'll, we'll, for sure, we'll get the antenna. What about the engine? The engine, I'm gonna look at it real good. Make sure that we're gonna grab it. What about these vents? Are they the same size? Yeah, they are. I got some though. Oh, okay. Got some in better shape. She got this weird tailgate. Huh? A weird tailgate. Looks like somebody customized it. It's an odd tailgate. Oh. All right, let me take a closer look at the engine.
seven minutes away on 90, 95 miles to go. This is 76 and the 82 Datsun 720. Pretty loud. <laughs> of a tank of gas. So, gearings, I think, probably was affecting the and the miles per hour. Nice old square body there in the field. Anyways, uh, like I said, I think it's a 407 final drive. Uh, Your destination is on the left. And doing about 70 to 75 miles an hour. So I don't know what the average is, but it's not that great, I don't think. All right, trying to pick this, this engine up. Okay, we're at the 84 B2000 Mazda. Engine's pulled out for us. And there's the transmission. I wish we could have got the transmission. Convert ours to a five-speed from the automatic, but it's my wife's truck. starter chain I might take that out it's actually somebody has tried to pull the head off and uh, I wasn't gonna take it but I decided to but I'm here to retrieve some of the parts there it is mainly want the, uh, the bearing caps up there there I don't see them actually, but it might be on the engine. I didn't really pay attention to it. But here's the rocker arm set up. Actually, here's one. I don't know. I'm just gonna have to look really close. Uh, some of the head bolts. You're supposed to replace the head bolts. That's not a big deal, but that's one of the caps there. Uh, we'll be seeing if there's anything in the hood. It's not a whole bunch left. It's not much different than ours. I was looking at that, comparing it to tailgate's actually pretty good. Drive shaft for the standard. I don't know what kind of rear end that is. It's not in too, too, too bad of a shape. It's not in too great of a shape either. And that's that. She has 144,642 miles on it. So we're taking it. Taking that engine. And uh, unfortunately, my wife's either blue head gasket or something bad wouldn't happen. It, it got a little cold. I'm thinking, but I believe this happened before, and it might have been sold to us that way. It looks like there's a bunch of goop inside the uh, radiator. Maybe somebody tried to put a head gasket seal in or something in it. I don't know, but I'm going to use this here, pull this engine, uh, bring it back uh, with me, and probably do a little rebuild on it, or at least use a head. Once we pull the head off of my wife's engine, we'll find out more about it. But anyways, 1984. Mazda B2000 at the junkyard, which is a rare thing now. Not too many of these show up. And, uh, but parts of it will live on. Thank you for watching. Like, subscribe if you want. Uh, if you like to enjoy the content or like it, like it. Thank you so much. Have a great day.